Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today we're going to do it a little bit different than usual because we're going to make comfort food, but with a little twist because we're going to try to do the presentation fine dining style. So all the flavors and textures are going to be comfort food, but the presentation is going to be fine dining. Today it's all about my favorites because I'm going to show you two ways to prepare a flat iron steak. We're going to make my favorite potato preparation and I'm going to show you my favorite egg based sauce. And of course, that's a bayonet. So if you haven't done already, please subscribe to support my channel and hit that notification button to be sure that you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So let's begin. Let's begin with cleaning the flat iron steak. First remove any membranes, tendons or fat on the outside. Normally the flat iron steak is a piece of meat that's used for braising. But by cleaning it this way, it's also a great piece to pan sear. Once the outside is clean, cut it in half alongside the tendon. When that's done, remove the tendon on both pieces. Then portion the steaks and keep them covered in your fridge for later. Then heat up a big pot, add a splash of oil and start frying the trimmings of the flat iron steak. Once it's nice and golden, deglaze the pan with 1 liter of red wine and reduce this for 90%. Then add 1 liter of beef stock and the leaves from 8 springs of thyme. Let this simmer for at least 8 hours at around 90 to 95 degrees Celsius. While that's braising, let's start on the potato. For that, first melt 150 grams of butter. Meanwhile, peel 12 big waxy potatoes. And cut them in thin slices on the mandolin. Now transfer the slices on a tray and season them with salt and the melted butter. Mix this so the slices are seasoned on all sides. Then take a metal container and cover it with parchment paper. Now lay your potato slices in the container. Then cover it with another layer of parchment paper and bake it at 110 degrees Celsius for 3 hours. Once that's done, put another container on top and put something heavy on top, like this pan filled with water. Then let it set overnight in your fridge. Now let's check on the braised beef. Once it's done, mix 10 grams of cornstarch with 40 grams of water and while mixing, add it to the stew. This will bind the liquid a little bit. Then transfer it into a bowl and keep it covered in your fridge for later. After that, get your chilled potato and remove it from the container. Trim the sides and then cut it into the desired shape. Transfer it onto a metal tray and keep it in your fridge for later. Then the mushroom cream. First chop 400 grams of mushrooms. Now cut two shallots in half, clean them and chop them. Then heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and caramelize the shallots with a generous amount of salt. Once they start to color, add your chopped mushrooms and fry everything till golden. After that, deglaze it with 500 grams of beef stock and 20 grams of sushi vinegar. Now let this reduce for 90%. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it till smooth. Once it's smooth, add a touch of santan powder. This to bind the liquid a little bit so the cream doesn't separate. Now give it a taste for seasoning and then transfer it into a piping bottle. And yes, I know I need to buy a funnel. Now for the fried mushrooms. Take a couple of beautiful mushrooms and cut them in half. Then score them on the flat side. Now heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and fry the mushrooms flat side down till golden with some salt. Once golden, add a nut of butter with 3 springs of thyme. Now let this caramelize. Then turn them around and start basing the top. After that, transfer them on a metal tray. 
Now for the green asparagus. Take a bunch of them and cut them to the desired size. The trimmings you can keep for later. Now there are two ways to clean them. You can use the tip of your knife to remove the small leaves or you can make a small incision all around and gently peel away the skin. I prefer this way. Then, se then season some boiling water with salt and blanch the asparagus for two minutes. Now cool them down in ice water. Once chilled, lay them next to the mushrooms on the tray and keep it in your fridge for later. Then the bayonets. Pour 500 grams of white wine into a saucepan together with the asparagus trimmings, 5 sprigs of thyme, 300 grams of sushi vinegar, 6 grams of salt and 80 grams of white wine vinegar. Now reduce this for 50%. Then put it through a fine sieve. After that, clean four springs of tarragon and chop the leaves. Now pour 80 grams of the reduced asparagus liquid into a saucepan and bring it to a boil. Then while mixing, add 70 grams of egg yolk and directly start beating the mixture on a medium heat till fluffy and firm. Once that's done, turn off the heat and add 100 grams of cold cubes of butter. Then season with some pepper, the chopped tarragon and when necessary some salt. Now keep it covered for later. Then we can start frying the meat. First season it with salt on all sides. Then heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and fry the steaks on both sides still golden. Once it has some color, add a nut of butter, let this caramelize and baste the steak for around 30 seconds. Cook it for 12 more minutes at 110 degrees Celsius and then let it rest for 15 minutes. While the beef is resting, start deep frying your potato at 180 degrees Celsius till nice and golden. Now you can also heat up your cream, the beef stew and the vegetables. Just hear those layers. Now season with some salt. Then we can start to plate. First pipe a lime of the cream on a plate and put your crispy potato on top. Now pipe the hot cream on the potato and put the mushroom and the green asparagus on top as well. I decorate it with some greens and then we can slice the meat. Always slice against the grain. Now put a tablespoon of the beef stew on the plate and put your meat on top. And now finish it off with the hot bayonet sauce. Okay guys, this is it for today. Um, well, I can't wait to dig in because I always love preparing the potatoes like these because the outside is super crispy. All the layers, yeah, that's amazing. Um, the inside is super soft as well, so that's a brilliant balance of um, the, the cream in combination with the bayonets and the meat. I think it's gonna be really good. Well, Charlie has been with me like all the time when I was filming because we almost never eat meat here at home. Um, so when there is meat, he is in the kitchen. Well, like I said, uh, he's very excited, but it's not for him, it's for me. So, I'm sorry, Charlie. Okay guys, let's dig in. Um, yeah, like I said, I think the combination of the meat, of the, the stewed meat, and the pan seared meat, that's, that's gonna be brilliant. I did it in the past a couple of times. So I'm sure it's really, really nice. I'm gonna get a lot of bayonet sauce because I'm a big fan of bayonet sauce. Mm. Yes, please. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. Like I said in the beginning, this is fine dining comfort food. It really is. You have the, the crispy fried potato, the, the beef stew with the red wine. You can, you can really taste the reduced red wine, so it doesn't have the alcohol kick, but 
it has a deep flavor which is which is brilliant yeah like i said comfort food to the max um okay guys all right first let's close it up that's it for today i hope you've enjoyed the video please let me know in the comments what you want to see next like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos um charlie says hi and as always one of the